Well, good morning, guys. This is day one of the tournament today, and it is cold with a strong north wind. Uh, we just walked a long, long way through this park here at Venetian Gardens to what we thought was the restroom, and luckily we were right. But anyway, we just got back. It's about seven minutes till takeoff. We gotta get the rods out. But it's 30 something degrees, 10 to 15 mile an hour north winds. It's, it's so cold. I mean, I got gloves, I'm bundled up in layers, got my frog togs on, the whole nine. Uh, but somebody's gotta catch them today. Fish might still bite this morning. I don't know, I haven't even looked. I got 70 degree water temps right now, but I am tucked up in here and piled up in some, in some grass. So this might be a little bit warmer than what the rest of it is. Plus we're back in a cove, but water temps were 77-ish. So potentially the water temps have dropped seven to 10 degrees at least. Anyhow, uh, we're excited. We got a lot of fish uh, located. We know where they're at, whether or not we can get them to bite in this cold front and all that. That's yet to be determined, but let's go figure it out. And don't forget to click subscribe and uh, let's see how we do. What a nightmare. The bolts come off the grass. We lost our favorite Kistler hat. Uh, not a great start to that one. this one.
didn't kind of lose him. We really lost him. Been sold on injury. We got the bait all hung in the in the net. big but he might cold so we'll go check him out Catching dinner. Get over me, Nick. We're throwing right there, Nick. Go around this way. Go this way. We're throwing right there. Have you got any? I've got a few little ones. How many? I got five little ones. You got five ones? Yes, sir. Well, I know we've been throwing right at it. That's why I asked you to just kind of. Yeah. I mean, it don't matter, but at the same time, yeah, if it ain't no difference to you, it, it helps us. Yeah. I ain't had a bite, buddy. Well, they're swimming around. that fish swim right under the boat and we dropped it down and got it. I don't know if he'll help us any, but we got him. Yeah, that was really cool how we seen that fish on the active target literally right in front of the troll motor swimming this hydrilla and we dropped that swimming dinger down, that thumping dinger down there and he ate it.
supposed to be a big one. You're supposed to be a big one. Come off. That gun it. I get the little ones and I lose the good ones. That's not how it's supposed to be. Guys, we got about an hour left to fish. We're just one really good bite away from being where we want to, two good bites away from being fantastic. We just gotta get them. Eat it. Looking at it. Got one all over it. Are you kidding me? Eat it. You looking at it? There he is. That's a big one. Please stay hooked. No! <sighs> Guys, I can't tell you how much that hurts. I watched that fish nose down on that worm and dart at it and eat it. And it was a giant. I got 20 pound line on here, big old heavy rod, and I couldn't even turn that fish's head. <sighs> oh, why did that happen? I'm shaking. Oh, why did that happen? God, dog. Oh. I only get a fish, and it's a turd, and it came. They're gonna get stuck like that. That don't help us. Uh, another two pounder. Oh, yes, sir, number 90. Thank you, my friend. You bet. How are you today? Good. I've been better if I got to go fishing with you, but I'm on my. Official leaderboard today for a minute there, huh? Yeah, man, I, I lost three three today, and I lost one that broke my heart. Uh -oh. I laid, laid on the deck of my boat and cried like a baby for a little bit. You're gonna have to lay in the bed and cry about it a little bit more, even? Yeah, my poor wife's gonna have to listen to it over and over all night. Uh oh, I'm sorry. But hey, Kyle Cortiana from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, does have a limit, and you know where a big one lives, right? I do. Has 12 pounds, 14 ounces for me today, sir. I appreciate you, my friend. Thanks, David. Yeah. Hey man. Hey. All right, so we had 12 pounds, 14 ounces. I have no idea what place that has us in. There was a lot of people around us that had bigger bags than we did. We lost a couple today, but we lost that one there at the end of the day. That crushed me. I watched that fish eat that on the active target, and I've been catching 
I've been blessed with getting to watch a lot of big fish eat my bait, and I know that fish was eight plus, and uh, I stuck it with all I had, 20 pound line, seven six heavy rod, and that fish was close to me on a four out flipping hook. It was almost like that hook never even got in that fish. When I pulled that bait out of there, that yum dinger, it didn't look like that hook had moved hardly. So them big ones, they clamped down on it. And uh, that's the difference between us having what we got almost 13 today. And I mean, you know, that would have had us 19, 20 pounds, you know, so uh, we got one more day tomorrow. Uh, try to make a move. We got to get we got to get some big ones. Well, we save some stuff for tomorrow. See what the wind's going to do. Hopefully some of that stuff produces a bigger fish and uh, on to day two. Thanks for watching. <laughs>